Hello, fellow preppers. Tis I, the rumpled one. Yeah, I'm still here out the rural location, and give you a little bit different view, a little different background. It's another uh, rainy day. Lightly raining. Guess you call it a drizzle. But the sun, you can see a little bit brighter right now. So you might have a sunny day. Okay, what am I going to talk about today? Something that, in a way, I really don't like talking about it because it's just kind of nonsensical. Um, there's a lot of talk about a race war happening in America. Blacks against the whites. People, y'all need to chill out and calm down because... It's a bunch of nonsense, you see, that, you know, that kid that got shot in Florida, you know, you get Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson out there, and, you know, no disrespect, but they're clowns. And the media, for some strange reason, likes to show clowns on TV. I guess it's good for TV, good for ratings, but a bunch of clowns. And then there, I guess there was the one, uh, you know, I guess, I don't know, some bunch of, a gang of, a gang of black guys killed some white guy, but it didn't get media any media attention, and it's blowing up on Facebook, I guess, depending on who your Facebook friends are, but I see this all the time, and they're constantly, you know, talking about the race card, this, that, and the other thing. It's all a bunch of baloney. Because there, there is, there, it's not black versus white or Hispanic versus white or, or anything versus anything except for one thing. And that one thing is it's liberty versus tyranny. Okay? It's freedom versus servitude. And so long as, you know, the, the people, or we call them sheeple, follow what the media puts out there, follows what those talking heads on TV and radio talk about, we're never, ever going to have freedom and liberty. Because until we take back this country, we the people, take back the country, you know, those people in Washington, D.C. are going to keep doing what they're doing, and we're basically... They're slaves. I've talked about this before. If you don't get to keep everything that you earn, you're a slave. See this? My property, <clears throat> it's bought and paid for. I'm not saying that to brag, but the point is, if I don't pay property tax, the sheriff and his deputies will come here and take my property from me. So I am a slave to them. I have to pay them their due. Now, people say, oh, you're being extreme, you know, you're, you know, everybody's, no, everybody doesn't. Just yesterday, I was over a friend's house, they got cable TV, and the History Channel came on, and they were talking about the Appalachian uh, mountain men and women, and... You know, everybody makes jokes about the people in Appalachia, you know, the hillbillies, the Hatfields, and the McCoys, but... And I think Billy Ray Cyrus was kind of like a moderator or something. He, he introduced the show. So, you know, usually, yeah, you kind of laugh at those hicks up there, right? But I decided to watch the show, and I learned something. A little bit about history. You see, I guess there were a bunch of Scots and Irish that came over, and they kind of got, you know, the other people that were here shunned them. So they went to the hills of Appalachia and... and started their own little spot. Well, you know, America, they fought the uh, Revolutionary War, and now they were free from the king, right? And all that tyranny. Well, I guess those, you know, now what I like to call them the powers that tax, decided that they're going to uh, outlaw moonshine, or they're going to put a tax on it. And if you don't pay the tax, well, guess what? They send the revenuers at you. Well, the mountain men, they didn't take kindly to that. You know, they just fought for freedom, and now all of a sudden somebody else is going to tell them that they can't, 
you know, distill their own corn liquor? Uh-uh. They weren't having nothing to do with that. A lot of revenueers lost their lives going up there trying to enforce that. And, you know, it still goes on down there today with the marijuana. The people in the mountains don't like outsiders coming in there telling them what they can and can't do. Because they like their freedom. But, you know, the media portrays people who fight for their own individual freedom as some kind of radicals or fringe group or crazies when it's the people that sit on their butts and take it up their butts those are the people who are crazy because I mean you, you basically rolled over you know gasoline's over four bucks gallon now what's that got to do with it well because of the powers of tax they won't allow the oil companies to drill, so price goes up. Speculators go, hey, you know what? Supply's going to probably uh, taper off or go down, so we'll run the price up. And so then, of course, it's, you know, the poor versus the rich. No, it's not the poor versus the rich. It's liberty versus tyranny. It is freedom versus servitude. And I... The thing is, this should be trending. This should be trending on Yahoo and Google and all MSN and all the rest of them. Why aren't people up in arms saying, you know what, this is what we want. I mean, there's a mild rumble amongst preppers, amongst survivalists, but I mean, think about it. You've got Congress out of control making things unconstitutional. And I think I just read today, somebody had a sign of Thomas Jefferson. He said, tyranny is when the government can do things that the people can't. That's tyranny. Or when people have to do things that the government doesn't have to. That's tyranny. You know, and that's what we have in this country. Believe it or not, whether or not you want to accept the facts... That's your individual choice. But the fact is, is that Congress had made, makes laws that you and I have to abide by, but they're exempt from, like Obamacare. So, you know, I have a video. Is it time? I think the time has passed. I really do. And you see, it's up to each individual what they want to do, when they're going to lock and load, you know, when they're going to take up arms against this government that's composed of a bunch of tyrants. I mean, we're, we're going to just roll over that we have. I mean, how much more are we willing to take? How much more are you willing to take? So, I mean, look at this. You, you, this is, you see anybody else up here? Why can't I just live my life and not be bothered with them? Think about it. Why can't you just live your life and not be bothered with government and these taxes? I mean, they're constantly going to do the food stamp thing where they always show some, you know, black woman in the black ghetto. But the reality is, is that there's more white people on welfare than any other group. But you don't see that in the media. Because that's not where they want you to lead. They want you to, they want the people to fight amongst themselves so they stay in power. It doesn't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. It doesn't matter who con controls Congress. Look at what's happened to this country since the 1900s. Look at what's happened. Look at how your freedoms, I mean, since the year 2000, look at all the freedoms you've lost. The Constitution to them is toilet paper. They don't care. The Second Amendment's there for one reason and one reason only. So we the people can get rid of the tyrants. Now, am I saying let's go revolt right now? Well, no, we can't. For one reason and one reason only. We the people are not united. Until we can come together and, and say, hey, you know what? I want to move. I want these shackles off of me. I, I, I don't want to do this no more. When we can say that as one, that's when we can get rid of this.
And they say, oh, no, no, we can vote. The vote's a joke. You know it. I know it. Come on, people. It's like, wake up, America, and smell the hypocrisy.